Navigating the world of nutrition when living with diabetes can often feel like walking a tightrope. On one side, we have the essential nutrients our bodies require to function optimally, and on the other, there are the potential pitfalls of foods that can sabotage blood sugar control and overall health. This delicate balance becomes even more precarious when we delve into the world of dairy. Dairy products, often a nutritional minefield, can be particularly tricky for those managing diabetes. While some dairy foods are lauded for their protein and calcium content, others hide sneaky amounts of sugar and unhealthy fats that can wreak havoc on blood sugar levels. In light of this, it's vital for people with diabetes to make informed dairy choices. But before we continue, if you appreciate all the information and the research that goes into making a video like this, it does help out tremendously if you hit the like button and hit subscribe. Thank you, and let's begin. In this discussion, we'll be zeroing in on a specific food category that tends to cause controversy in the context of diabetes, dairy products. Now before we go any further, let's clarify one thing. Not all dairy products are bad for diabetics. Foods like low-fat yogurt, cottage cheese, and certain types of milk can offer nutritional benefits when consumed in moderation. They can provide your body with essential proteins, vitamins, and minerals. But unfortunately, there are some dairy products that have the potential to cause more harm than good for those with diabetes. And these are the ones we'll be exploring today. Let's embark on this culinary journey and discover five dairy foods that, based on research, are best left out of your diet if you're managing diabetes. Remember, the last one we'll discuss might be the most surprising. We begin our exploration with a popular morning delight, flavored yogurts. A staple in many households, flavored yogurts seem like a nutritious choice. However, for people with diabetes, they may be a sugary pitfall. A 2018 study in the BMJ Open Diabetes Research and Care Journal showed that high sugar intake, such as from flavored yogurts, could increase the risk of type 2 diabetes. The added sugar in these yogurts often spikes blood sugar levels, posing a significant threat to diabetics. So while yogurt can be a healthy addition to your diet, it's best to opt for plain, unsweetened varieties and add fresh fruit for flavor. Next on our list is ice cream. Now this may not come as a huge surprise. Most of us are aware that ice cream is laden with sugar and fat, both of which are problematic for diabetics. A study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition in 2015 showed that high dairy fat intake was associated with a higher risk of diabetes. Ice cream, specifically, because of its high sugar content, can cause dangerous blood sugar spikes, making it a risky treat for diabetics. If you're craving something sweet, consider a small serving of fruit or a diabetes-friendly dessert instead. Our third contender is cheese. Yes, unfortunately, your beloved cheese is not as innocent as it seems. But why? Isn't cheese a good source of protein? Yes, it is. But it's also high in saturated fats. A study conducted by the American Heart Association in 2017 found a link between dietary saturated fats and increased blood sugar levels. The fats in cheese can contribute to insulin resistance, making blood sugar control harder for diabetics. The key here is moderation. If you can't imagine your life without cheese, go for low-fat options and consume it in small quantities. Evaporated and condensed milk takes the fourth spot on our list. Regular milk, specifically low-fat or non-fat, can be a part of a healthy diet for people with diabetes, thanks to its protein and vitamin D content. However, evaporated and condensed milk are a different story. They are concentrated forms of milk with most of the water removed, making them denser in sugar and fats. According to a 2019 research published in Nutrition and Diabetes, these types of milk can significantly raise blood sugar levels, making them a no-no for diabetics. Now, we've arrived at the last entry on our list, the one you've all been waiting for whipped cream. Yes, this seemingly innocent dollop on your hot chocolate, or the perfect topping to your dessert, might be more dangerous than you think. Whipped cream is typically high in saturated fats and sugar. A study published in the Journal of the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics in 2020 discovered a positive correlation between intake of foods high in saturated fats and sugar, like whipped cream, and increased blood glucose levels. Plus, whipped cream is often paired with other high sugar foods, exacerbating its potential negative effects on blood sugar control. While it might make your dessert look more appealing, it's best to skip this creamy addition if you're trying to manage your diabetes effectively. 
If you have diabetes, it's important to choose dairy products that are low in added sugars and carbohydrates to help manage your blood glucose levels. Greek yogurt is an excellent dairy option for people with diabetes due to its lower lactose content and higher protein levels compared to regular yogurt. The straining process involved in making Greek yogurt removes much of the whey, which reduces its carbohydrate content. Protein is essential for managing blood sugar levels as it can slow down the absorption of carbohydrates, preventing rapid spikes in blood glucose. Skim or low-fat milk provides essential nutrients like calcium, vitamin D, and protein without the added fat of whole milk. Since milk does contain lactose, which is a natural sugar found in dairy products, it's essential to monitor your portion sizes to manage your carbohydrate intake. Cottage cheese is a low-carb and protein-rich dairy option, making it a favorable choice for people with diabetes. It is made by curdling milk and draining off the whey, leaving behind curds. Cottage cheese can be a versatile addition to your diet, as it can be enjoyed on its own or used in both sweet and savory dishes. Choose plain, unsweetened cottage cheese to avoid any added sugars that might be present in flavored versions. Ricotta cheese is a soft, creamy cheese often used in Italian dishes. It is relatively low in carbohydrates and rich in protein, making it a diabetes-friendly choice. Ricotta can be used in both sweet and savory recipes, from pancakes and desserts to lasagna and stuffed pasta shells. Kefir is a fermented dairy product similar to yogurt, but with a thinner consistency. It is made by fermenting milk with kefir grains, which are a combination of bacteria and yeast. Kefir contains probiotics that can be beneficial for gut health. Choose unsweetened kefir to minimize carbohydrate intake, and consider adding it to smoothies or using it as a buttermilk substitute in recipes. Soy milk is a plant-based milk alternative made from soybeans. It is naturally lactose-free, making it suitable for individuals with lactose intolerance. Soy milk is also typically lower in carbohydrates than cow's milk, making it a viable option for people with diabetes. Additionally, it contains less saturated fat than whole milk, which can benefit heart health. In conclusion, managing diabetes doesn't mean you need to completely abandon your love for dairy. It just means making informed choices and prioritizing foods that can help you maintain balanced blood sugar levels. Flavored yogurts, ice cream, cheese, evaporated and condensed milk, and whipped cream may need to be consumed less frequently or even avoided due to their high sugar or saturated fat content. Remember, each individual is unique, and what works for one person might not work for another. Always consult with a healthcare professional or a dietitian before making drastic changes to your diet. Here's to making better food choices today for a healthier tomorrow.